are the five major important things. So in examination, if there is a question that comes, which will uh, which they will ask you, what are the various inventory control mechanisms or the inventory control uh, categories, right? Or different options for inventory control. Then these are the five options which you can tell. Now let us take one by one. First is setting of stock level. So um, let me divert your attention to uh, this chart here that I have put up, which uh, talks about setting of stock level before even we go into the presentation. So suppose let us assume everybody likes chocolates, right? So let us assume and this is a drum or a barometer full of chocolates. So uh, if suppose and this is the maximum over this it will be overflowing. So suppose let us say that we have 10,000 chocolates um, of dairy milk. Everybody likes dairy milk. So suppose if we have 10,000 quantities of chocolates as a dairy milk I will say this is going to be the maximum level. Even before looking at this there are two criteria which we should understand. The first criteria being stock level. You very well know there are various stock levels but the major two is the maximum level and the minimum level and also there is something called as a factor. Factor I put it as nothing but usage into time. Usage can also be consumption Okay, so these are the basic criteria which you have to understand first. Once this you have understood, we said that we have, we want to have a maximum level of 10,000 dairy milk chocolates. So this is a maximum level. There will also be a maximum factor. When I say maximum factor, I'm just going to write a factor here. When I say maximum factor, what does that mean? It means that it is this point maximum consumption or maximum usage into maximum time. Then the middle portion I will break into two. Okay. One will be I will call it as an EOQ or we can also call it as EBQ economic ordering quantity or economic batch quantity. The other portion I will call it as ROL, reorder level. Do you know what is the difference between these two? Are these two the same? Suppose the reorder level I am setting it up at 6000 chocolates. Okay, will be the reorder level. This is a reorder level we know is a level of inventory. But economic ordering quantity is a quantity of purchase. At what quantity we are going to purchase? So level we said is 6000. We will buy say 7000 quantity of stock. That means we will buy 7000 uh, in order to produce 6000 chocolates we will buy 7000 kilograms of choco. Okay, So that is the raw material which will be bought which is the economic ordering quantity. Okay. I don't want to stress more on these two things. We will learn more later. 
now uh, on the bottom portion again there is a minimum level if you have maximum you should have minimum and then you have a minimum factor okay suppose the minimum level is 3000 again minimum factor will be the minimum usage into minimum consumption okay this will again go here this will also come here okay and then you have the average factor see why are we doing all these things in examination when you are asked questions on uh, setting of stock levels students face very much difficulty in understanding the stock levels so students find it very difficult to mug up these formulas in the examination point so we have drawn out this chart for us to easily understand the formulas you don't have to mug up anything here say if you want to first formula is on the maximum level so if you want to derive that formula it is very very easy I told we need to understand two things one is level and one is factor when level comes if level is already considered then we have to consider factor first we have to consider level then we have to consider the factor okay now let us understand maximum level maximum level is what it is the inclusive of all these things right so it is 10,000 correct so it encompasses within it EOQ is there so I am putting as EOQ then which is 7,000 in our example then I am adding ROL reorder level which is 6,000 okay so these two things I have added that means I am buying at a 7000 quantity plus 6000 so this becomes 13000 correct right and this is already 13000 from this 13000 I have to maintain a minimum level till the time the stocks are arrived in the go down till the time the EOQ comes I still have to maintain some kind of a minimum stock so that production is not stopped and that is why I am reducing the minimum factor which is minimum consumption into minimum reorder period okay so that will be say three days consumption and per day let us assume thousand units or raw materials is consumed so this will be three thousand so the net effect will be the maximum level of ten thousand okay so this is how we have to work out so the formula will be economic instead of economic ordering quantity I am saying reorder quantity plus reorder level minus minimum consumption that is a factor consumption into minimum reorder period reorder period is what time that's all minimum maximum level is over now let us see what is the formula for reorder level you that's all so once these formulas have come up I would like to take your attention to the setting of stock levels see here it will we are now you know we can make a note of this um, because we will take up I told you remember stock level factor usage into time maximum level formula come up <coughs> reorder level plus economic ordering quantity minus minimum consumption into minimum reorder period very easy to find out right